I'm with Brother Nicholas. Hello. And we're Catholic Underground. <laughs> Say hi to your Hello, everybody. You're a faith. What's up? So we're talking about crazy stories that happened that increased our faith. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, you're like, yo, for real? For real. And it was for real. So you need to tell a for real story. Not just some made-up story, but a for real story about how your faith was increased or revived. Okay, okay. So I was living in Jersey for the last two years. I was living in Newark, you know. And Newark makes the South Bronx look like Disneyland. And so we were over there. And every Friday, we'd go to the jail. And so I'm just going to talk to you. <laughs> you can cut that, all right? <laughs> So every Friday in Newark, we'd go to the jail, Essex County Jail. And this one Friday, we go in, and we're sitting down, and we're doing our Bible study with some of the immigrants, some of the guys that have been picked up for illegal immigration. We're doing our Bible study and working through the thing. And then we finished with the Bible study. It was great. And the brother was like, uh, I, he, he asked me uh, where we were going next, and we were heading to the infirmary, which I was really excited about because it was an opportunity, you know, to work with the poorest of the poor, you know, to really reach out to somebody who is in need. And and it doesn't get much worse than being sick and in jail, you know. And so we go down to the infirmary, and the guard's there, and we sign in. And he's really nice and compassionate. He's kind to us, you know. And I'm thinking to myself, this is probably why this guy is stationed here, you know. And so uh, we sign in, and I turn around, and there's this guy in an orange jumper leaning against the wall, and he's just suffering. He's just like, ah. Oh. You know, he's really suffering. And so I think to myself, hello, Jesus, you know. So we go over to him, and we lay hands, and we pray with him, you know. And it was blessed. It was really blessed. He tears up a little bit. And then we go inside, and it's like armed guard station, you know, nurse's station, and bulletproof glass. And I was like, whoa. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'd never seen anything like this, you know. And I look through the bulletproof glass, and uh, there's a... A guy, and he's one of our guys from the neighborhood, you know, and he's uh, he's sitting down, and he's got long dreadlocks, you know, he's in his orange jumper, and I see him, and he sees me, and he's just like, <laughs> he's just like waving me over, you know, and I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I think we're supposed to go in there, you know, and I tell the guard, I'm like, I think we're supposed to go in there, and the guard's like, you want to go in there, and I'm like, we're going in there, he's like, you want to go in there, we're going in there, you know, so we go in. And then we go in, and he's very animated, you know. He's like, what's up, my brothers? We are all God's children, you know. And I'm like, amen, amen, you know. I'm like, how you doing tonight? How you doing? He's like, pretty good, pretty good. But I got shot, B. And I was like, oh, man. And he goes, and stabbed. And I was like, wow. And he pulls up his shirt, you know, and you could see the stitches, like, all the way down his stomach, you know, and two bullet holes and a knife wound, you know. And I was like, wow, where'd you get shot? Where'd you get shot? And he was like, I got shot in New York. I got shot in New York. I'm like, where, Manhattan? He's like, no, the South Bronx, the South Bronx. I'm like, I used to live in the South Bronx, you know? He's like, wow. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm glad you made it out of that one, B. And he's like, yeah, but something happened. And I was like, what happened? And he goes, I was in heaven for a second, bro. I was in heaven for a second. I was like, well, tell me about that. And he goes, there was these huge walls with these giant gates. And all these rose petals were pouring over the walls. All these rose petals, you know. And he said, he, I heard everyone say, let him in, Father. Let him in. Let him in, Father. You know. He said, there was these huge mansions, beautiful white mansions with, with pearls, uh, roads, and, and gold, and white. You know, he said it was so beautiful, these huge mansions. And, uh, and he goes, and then I saw, and I saw Jesus. And I said, well, tell me about that, you know. And he said, he had a little beard like yours, you know, like a little beard like yours. You look like Jesus. <laughs> oh, come on. I was like, he had a, and his skin was dark like mine, and his hair was like, like long, like wool. And he goes, and it was long, son. I mean, it was long, you know. <laughs> I was like, all right, all right. And, uh, and then, uh. I, I said, was there music? Was there music? And he goes, yeah, you know, like, ah. Uh. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, what, like Channing? He was like, yeah, it was like Channing. It was like Channing. I said, um, was there anybody up there dressed like this? And he goes, the Catholics, bro. And Jesus is Catholic. <laughs> I was like, amen, amen. He goes, he's got a long white robe. You know, it goes all the way down to the ground. He goes, and it never gets dirty. There's no dirt in heaven, bro. There's no dirt in heaven. And he said, and then he said to our Lord, let me in, Father. Let me in. And he said, Not yet, my son, for there are battles yet for you to win for me on earth. Wow. 
And he said, but why? And he goes, don't question me. You'll wake up now. And bang, he was back in the emergency room. And he said, brother, he goes, before, I wanted to lie. I wanted to kill. I wanted to commit adultery. You did it. I, you name it, I did it. He's like, but not now. He goes, I have seen the light. I have seen the light. And he goes, he goes, this life isn't what we think it's about. It's about love. We have to love, you know. And he witnessed to me right then and there, you know. And, uh, and he, he also mentioned when he saw our Lord's face, you know, he, he, looked, he said he looked off in the distance and he said, everything's in that face, brother. Everything's in that face, which is beautiful. And there was a guy in the, in the jail there with him, you know, and he, this, uh, this is when I was with him that night. And he like pushes the, he gives the guy a big hug, you know, and pushes him into the jail cell, you know. And, uh, and I saw him like three months after that, you know. And I said, Sydney, I said, from your experience, from the wisdom that you gained from that experience, what would you tell people? And he said, always have God in your heart and always manifest God to other people. And I was like, amen, amen. I was like, that's faith. I said, I said, Sydney, I'm going to tell your story. And he goes, you tell your church, you tell the whole world. <laughs>